Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna give you a advanced, not advanced, a beginner's guide to what is the best Airsoft BB brand and which is the best Airsoft BB and which Airsoft BB should you be using. I'm gonna be talking about what is the best bang for your buck BB and what is the best accuracy you can get out of a BB and how you do it. So, first off, let's get into it. As you see in front of me, I have a bunch of different brands. I have a Danish brand, I have Madbull, this is called Hank, Madbull, Green GNG, Nimrod, some more GNG, some BLS, and some BLS. I have been using a lot of different BB brands. What you want out of a BB brand is that you want a BB brand that is good polished. To achieve that, you need to pay a little bit more. And usually, you need to go in an airsoft shop. I know a lot of people go and buy BBs in like weird places where you shouldn't buy it, where you get like yellow ones, or glass one, or metal ones. Those are a no-no for Airsoft. So when you think about Airsoft, go to your local Airsoft store. Anyways, let me inform you. So all of these BB brands here is really well-known high-end BB brands. I've used Madbull for years. I've used GNG for years. I've used Nimrod for years. I've used GNG for years. I've used BLS for years. And they all have advantages and disadvantages. So what is the best BB brand? Well, so different countries have different BB brands. Because, I mean, Europe, Europe Nimrod is very out there. In America, it's not. Uh, in America, Green GNG is extremely used. Um, so you need to find out which country you are in first and which BB brands they hold. But in regarding what do you want? Well, so everyone always says this. You know, there's free companies in the world, free factories that make BBs. Each recipe is just different, but they all make it the same place and the same the same way, blah, blah, and nobody really knows. And I've tested so many BBs. I cannot tell you if it's true or not. I know if you know a BB is good is that you need to know if it's been polished. And some BBs are not polished. And the way you see that is if you look at it and you're like, does it have a matte color? Then it's not polished. Shiny, it's polished. And in general, you want a BB to be polished more than once. For a BB to be polished more than once, you want the higher end brands. It's like, let's say when you buy a cheap car, you don't really care what you put in it. Like obviously you need to put the right stuff in, but you don't need to buy that premium gas or diesel or whatever the fuck it is you put in it. You don't care about that. So, but now in Airsoft, you do. You can have the best gun in the world. I have people who copy my exact MTW and they're like, I don't understand why my MTW is just not shooting well. Well, you need to put in the right fuel. How do you get performance out of your gun? Well, put in the right BBs. I have an RHOP gun, which is shooting high power limits, which can lift a heavy BB. So for me to get long range, I need to use heavy BBs like 40s. I prefer to use heavy BBs because I can take very precise and accurate shots. When I record, it's very important to me that I know from my own perspective that I want to be able to do clean, straight shots. And I get that with this. So when you're like, okay, what is a quality BB? How, how do they make them weigh 40? And how do they make them weigh 30? The less weight they are, the more air bubbles they have inside of them. The more air bubbles they have, obviously the mixture also changes, but the more air bubbles they have, the bigger chance of a BB not flying the same path every time you will have. Because the air bubbles will probably be in different places of the, the BB, because it's not possible to make it the exact same spot every single time. Obviously not. So, when you have a gun, you're like, okay, I would like for my gun, my stock gun, to shoot really well. And you're like, okay, I need to find out what is the max range my gun shoot. Like, what is the maximum efficiency I can get out of these BBs? I know a lot of fields, especially in America and places where they measure in FPS, they use lower weight BBs. Um, and lower weight BBs are in general just much worse. If you gun can, like, I would say 99% of guns today that are released can from stock lift a Super 28. Most guns can even lift Super 32s. And there's absolutely no reason to use less than Super 28. Because when you put higher quality ammo in it, that works better, that is more efficient, that has less air bubbles, you get more accurate shots. Also, your hop unit can be pushed a lot harder to its limit, which means, let's say you have a very lightweight BB. I'm gonna try not to make this too nerdy, but a very lightweight BB like a 30. 30 is lightweight for me. That BB will fly really fast in the very beginning of your shooting, and then it will lose its speech very fast because it doesn't have a lot of mass. So the air will affect it way more than a 40s will do. People will be like, 
the 40s hit so much harder. I mean, 1.1 joule, let's say it's 1.1 joule, will always be 1.1 joule no matter what. It will never shoot harder just because you put in a different BB because obviously you tune your gun around the BB you're gonna use so you're not cheating on the field. Obviously a 40, a heavier weight BB will keep its speed longer. You're like, well, when I measure a 40, it flies slower. Well, in the beginning, it flies slower than a lightweight one, but because it has more mass, it will have the power to fly longer and in that way, fly faster in the end because it will fly way longer. It will not get affected as much as the wind. It's not going to push aside or elbow, wherever it's going to get pushed where the wind comes from. So when you were like, okay, what is the best BB I can buy? The best BB you can buy is what your gun can efficiently lift without your bang lady calling your beard like, uh, so um, you don't have uh, money for food this month. Well, my gun is shooting very nice. That's all that matters. Well, I mean, it might be nice. For example, Mad Bull leaves a little bit of residue, like the bio BBs that leave a little bit of residue, but they're really nice, they don't break. Like they don't splinter when you shoot people in the mask very much. Like Nimrods, they don't really leave any residue actually. Like I've used these in Sweden, Denmark, Austria, Germany, and I don't really need to clean my gun as much, which is super nice. These Nimrod BBs, they're great, they shoot amazing. I mean. It is BBs, guys. You have to remember, it's not rocket science. Um, I, I, like I'm saying this, I'm not trying to sound arrogant, like, but it truly isn't rocket science. The more money you put into it, to a certain extent, you will get more money out of it. I know there's some YouTubers that say, just use a 28. Well, when you see my video and I'm doing these 70, 80 meter shots, like just one ball, straight into face of someone like you literally just see the top of the head i'm using heavyweight bbs also a super upgraded gun but if you have a super upgraded gun there's no need to put in shitty ass bbs like 28s i had to test to see if i was actually true in all the things i'm saying so it's not just something i'm saying it's actually been tested you know when i test my videos my shooting test videos you see i show data i don't share my i don't share my feelings per se i don't share my feeling craft i'm like okay so this is what i've seen this is what works um and i share data obviously i'm not sharing data today but yeah anyways all these bbs have the ups and downs you know the biggest down for nimrod is that they call them in small bags but when you get to 40s or 36s in most brands um you get very small back <laughs> sadly because it's heavy ass bbs this was supposed to be a really short video. I want it to be a short informational video, but in summary, what do you need to do? What is the best brand of BB? The best brand of BB doesn't really exist. I, I mean, I would like to say at this point in the video, I'm sponsored by Nimrod. Nimrod has some really good BBs and they work very freaking well in my MTW. But you see a bunch of forums all over the place and each of these BB brands have someone saying, this doesn't feed in my gun. And I mean, I don't know, there's different tolerances, the different tolerances mag, like there's so many different things. Obviously there's no best BB, but in regards, what is the best bang for your buck? Buy the heaviest BB you can afford to use while your gun is still efficient with it. That's my little thing about it. Like, I think that's what I want to say about it. I just want to make a short video saying, okay, this is how it is. In my experience, Nimrod, I brought it all over the world. I am sponsored by it but I've literally brought it all over the world and it's never let me down. I've never had any BBs crack. I've never had anything break. So, you know, you can take my my word, take it or leave it. Um, like I, I really thought about how I can make this video about sounding real because I know Nimrod, I know the guy who runs. I've spoken to him, I've been with him in Austria. Like I consider him as someone, you know, I know pretty well. And obviously I'm not gonna sit here and just say, yo, so Nimrod's BBs, um, they will fly 500 meters straight. You know, it is BBs, it's not rocket science, but what I can tell you, in a lot of my videos where you see those crazy shots, that's Nimrod BBs. Um, they just fly. They fly great, they fly straight, they don't break, they feed well in my max, they don't leave crazy residue, so that's all I can want. Anyways, I hope this, this short guide helped you, um, and uh, please leave a like, leave a comment, write in the comments about, yo, which brand of BB do you like, which brand of BB do you prefer, and um, I have a little question to you. Which gram of BB do you use for your gun? Sosa. Bye.